Hello, good morning viewers. In our previous lesson, we have seen the introduction to matrices. So in today's tutorial, we are going to look onto the different types of matrices. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to talk about all the types of matrices. Some other types till we go further in the main topic. Okay, let's get started. Um, number one, we have a rectangular matrix. Rectangular matrix. A matrix is said to be rectangular if and only if the number of rows in that matrix are entirely different from the number of columns in the same matrix. Example, so first we have a matrix A that has the elements A, B, C. So this matrix is rectangular because you can see it only has one row and three columns, which is one by three type, and hence it is said to be rectangular. We may have another one like this, two, four, three, negative one, two, and five. This is also a rectangular matrix of the dimension three by two. This is three by two matrix. You can see the number of rows is three, and the number of columns are two. So this matrix is said to be rectangular. So in general, a matrix is said to be rectangular if and only if the number of rows and columns are different. Let's move on to the next one, which is a square matrix. A square matrix is a type of matrix in which the number of columns and the number of rows are exactly the same. Example, so first we have a matrix A as just a number two. You can see that this matrix has one column and one row. So this is one by one matrix. So it's said to be a square matrix. Another one, if you have something like this, A, B, C, D, this is a square matrix because this is two by two. It has two rows and two columns. If we have a matrix like this, two, three, five, negative one, three, six, five, two, one, you can see this is a matrix of three by three. It's also a square matrix because it has three rows and three columns. Let us move on to the next type. Null matrix. A matrix is said to be null if and only if all the elements in that matrix are said to be equal to zero. So if you have a matrix like this, zero, 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 this matrix is said to be null. If you have another one like this, zero, 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 this is also a null matrix when all the entries are said to be equal to zero. Let's move on to another one. A row matrix is a matrix that has only single row, irrespective of the number of columns in that matrix. Example, if we have a matrix A as two, one, five. This is a row matrix because it has only single row, irrespective of the number of columns. So this is one by three. Another one, if we have A, B, you can see this is one by two. It's also a row matrix because it has only single row. Let us move on to another one, which is a column matrix. Number five, column matrix. A column matrix is a matrix that has a single column irrespective of the number of rows in that matrix. Example, if we have a matrix A as two, four, one, you can see this is a matrix with a single column. So this is three by one matrix because you know you have to start from number of rows followed by number of columns. 
So we have one row, two row, three rows, followed by a single column. This is three by one matrix, and it's also a column matrix because it has only single column. B, if we have a matrix AB, is also two by one matrix and is said to be a column matrix. Let us move on to the next one, which is a diagonal matrix. A diagonal matrix. A matrix is said to be diagonal under three conditions. Number one, that matrix must be a square matrix. Number two, all the diagonal elements must be non-zero elements. And number three, all other elements apart from diagonal, they are said to be equal to zero. Example, if we have a matrix A as 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 4. This is a diagonal matrix because you can see all the diagonal elements are non-zero and all other elements are said to be equal to zero and this matrix is a square matrix, 3 by 3. We may have another one, two by two. If you have like two, zero, zero, one, you can see the diagonal elements are not zero, but all other elements are said to be equal to zero. There is another subset of this diagonal matrix, which is a scalar matrix. A scalar matrix is also a diagonal matrix, but all the diagonal elements are equal. So let me make it like this, seven. We have a scalar matrix. Some people call it scalar matrix. Example, if we have a matrix A as two, zero, zero, two. You can see the diagonal elements are the same two, two. Or even if it is a three by three matrix, we have something like this. We may have three, 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 but all other elements are said to be equal to zero. This is a scalar matrix. All the diagonal elements are the same. Another matrix which I want us to talk about is also a subset of diagonal matrix which is an identity matrix. An identity matrix is also a diagonal matrix, but all the diagonal elements are equal to one, and it is donated by capital letter I. Identity matrix, it is donated by capital letter I. So any matrix of the form one, one, in case of two by two matrix, this is two by two matrix, this is an identity matrix because the diagonal elements are all equal to one. All other elements remain zero. We may have another one like this in case of three by three. One, one, and one. This is zero, this is zero, this is also zero. All this remain zero. This is three by three matrix. It's also an identity matrix because you can see the diagonals are all equal to one. Even if it is four by four, all the diagonals will remain equal to one. So I think this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.